Okay. Now, now you can actually see this, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Let's talk about this piece. What do you guys think about it? I like it. I am a big fan of X23. This is a great portrait and pose for her. You know, it's tough because there's different interpretations of her. There's a lot of fan-made pieces out there. Um, so there's no shortage of X23 pieces on the market. Um, so, yeah, it just depends on what version of her you like best. So that's, that's the issue. It goes both ways because I'm more like on not the negative side, but not like in love with it to where like JWR loves the piece. So some people mm -hmm. out there, it appeals to, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't think, uh, in my opinion, I don't think it matches what they're trying to do. She's yeah. smiling. She's very cartoony, but her smile, she's just smiling, but she just destroyed a couple, what is it, Ultrons or whatever it is? Yeah. Could be whatever it is. But, I mean, she's just smiling. See what I'm saying? It doesn't, it wouldn't add up to me, but I think, I, the, I think the biggest complaint I've heard was it's cartoony. I, do you, yeah, do you feel like thing. they're trying to, like we were talking about anime and stuff earlier, do you feel like they're trying to maybe target a younger audience with this one? I don't know. That's kind of like where the feeling fell from when they introduced the character. Well, you know, they're trying to target the, the you know the female audience in the comics. They they did that with a lot of characters. You get like a female Wolverine. You get a female Spider Man with Spider Gwen. You get a, you know, they're trying to diverse the characters. So I don't, yeah, maybe they're you know it's go, they're going for a younger audience. That's just kind of what I felt like. I just it it did look a little cartoony to me. I, I still like it. I think it's a nice sculpt. Um, but it did kind of make me wonder. It's, it, it makes me feel a little bit more like anime e type, like it's leaning more toward that that style. And I was like, okay, well maybe they're just trying to, to target a younger a younger audience here. I do um, like the unmasked portrait though, but then again, it's still a little bit cartoony looking. Yeah, yeah. She's smiling in that one too, right? Is that Eric? She's smiling. It's kind yeah. of a grin. It's, a grin. it's kind of hard to decipher whether she's smiling or I'm about to kill you. Right. Uh, they also enjoy. they also teased Mystique back here. Yeah. Um, That's more bottle. Which is oh sorry, I had some more photos of this one, but uh yeah, there she is right there. I'm I'm curious about that one. It it, it looks interesting. Um of course we love Will Harbottle. Uh we're big fans of his, and so I can't wait to see it. It looks like it has a light up feature, obviously, too. Yeah. Um but yeah, here's a few extra photos that I that we didn't get a chance to look at, but I still think this looks nice. I I mean, I I, I really like the flow of it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's telling though. I mean, the the exclusive is 200, and sideshow when they get below 50, it goes to almost sold out, and it hasn't done that, which means they yeah. haven't even sold 150 of these. Wow. And it's been up since last Thursday. That mystique yeah. piece reminds me a little bit of a comic book cover that I really like, but it also really reminds me of um, when they did Domino sitting on top of the slot machine. Yeah, very yeah. similar yeah. pose. Yeah, I wonder if that if that's a light up on the base down there too. Looks like it. It, it sure looks like it. So anyway, well, I'm sure we'll see some uh, more. You know, maybe at the, the sideshow con event as well, we'll see her probably revealed. Yeah. Uh, this one's going up. We had a, a lot of uh, XM news uh, in the last day. Uh, actually, I already filmed a reaction to that, so that'll be up tomorrow if you guys are interested in hearing what I have to say about uh, the video that uh, that Tyler and Ben put out. Um, it is a great watch. It's about 45 minutes long, so uh, it's, it is long, but uh, there is a lot of information in there. And so um, this is a piece that uh, they are... They actually announced that they're going to do some artist proofs of these, where um, Sang and Ben are gonna hand paint these themselves, um, which I thought was interesting. Maybe like they said, maybe like 20 of them. Um, like 29, which is supposedly sold out already somehow. Oh, is it really? That's crazy. That's what I heard. Um, so now we got to see this fully painted. I, I know we've seen this one before, but what do you guys think of this one? You know, Do you think this one will be very popular among fans? So I have a little issue about just going back to the whatever they were calling the prestige or whatever it's supposedly a better paint job you're paying more money supposedly like the base is signed by them i feel like it just naturally come as good as it can get from the factory in the first place but right i, just, well, I think i think they're they're that is for fans of them yeah you know what i mean i think that's kind of like we're fans of xm so we want xm the owners of xm to paint it i think that's kind of what they're thinking because I agree with you, like this, this, their paint job shouldn't be better than the factory. 
which I, I, I always thought their paint jobs were always amazing. So I'm like curious to see like how much more amazing can the paint get on their statues? So, yeah, I, I think it's more of just who paints it. Yeah. I think that's the draw. I it's a cool so. piece. I do like this Batgirl por portrait better than the first one. That I you do had. too. Yeah. I like it better from this angle. Otherwise, I'm not really, really wowed by it. Um, comparing it to like the other dioramas that they've done in the past. I don't know. Uh, I think they'll obviously do a villain version as well, <clears throat> um, which I think I would probably like better. Um, but it is cool. It's, you know, kind of along the lines of, of sanity and the success they've had. By the way, if anybody's selling smoke sanity, I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a long shot, but I'm going to try. I'm going to keep trying. I'm ready. I'm ready to get it. You'll find it. You'll find it. Speaking of sound, uh, Marcos, you really having GFX? I noticed GFX was on your uh, your advertisement. I haven't heard from them in a while. GFX is still around. They're uh, they're still around. They've made a couple of moves to get some of their stuff coming in. You know what oh, I mean? Right. But uh, I so, still actually ship stuff from them. You know, oh, here and oh, there. Right. Yeah, I do. They're still they're still there. So I, they're I, not I, physically going. Like Andrew's not there, right? They're just sh sending you stuff. Uh, Andrew should be there. Yeah, he okay. should be there. Yeah, he nice. should be there. I think with Andrew, the thing with Andrew is that, you know, he's just really bad at answering emails, right? And let's be yeah. just be honest. It's just the way he is. He doesn't answer. You know, you have to answer back to people. So, I mean, he should be there. Yeah, he is there. So that's the one I report to. So, but that's for GFX. I mean, they're not. They did stop distributing a lot of this stuff. So. I was gonna say we've heard kind of some rumblings there, so that's at least that's good to hear that maybe. Yeah, yeah just it some reminded me there. because the last I spoke to him, he actually said he has like a personal smoke version of sanity. I don't know if he still has it or not. It's been a while. Oh, I don't know. He can. He can. Pro the thing with XM pieces is, yeah, you know, my opinion of his piece, it's nice, whatever. But XM really can't. They can't compete in their one six scale in the United States. They got they got this stuff piled up in warehouses, and no one, nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. So. Uh, unfortunately, that's the way this the market is. You know, you got Tweeterhead plus other companies who are just competing. You can't beat them on pricing, and XM is is expensive compared to the other pieces. Well, it's interesting that they just announced yesterday they're going to be doing a, a whole line of one six Marvel. Um, that's so cool. Be, you know, it'll be interesting to see if they can move those if they can't move the DC stuff. Can they sell in the states? That's the thing. That's a good point. I don't know. I think so. Yeah, they can't even move this stuff. They really can't. And, and XM is. Uh, one of those that I keep telling people, you know, I, I want to be honest with people, right? So, you know, people come to me and say, hey, what about this company, that company, XM's one of those and say, hey, you know, when there's smoke, there's fire. So just be very careful what you do with them. Um, I wish them luck. You know? Yeah. Sure. Uh, we mentioned Tweeterhead cool. earlier, uh, threw in some photos. This was the uh, the prototype of the Mr. Freeze one third scale. Um, good God, guys, this thing is awesome. Um, <laughs> This line is so cool, and I want to thank Chad again for sending me these to uh, show you guys. Of course, they've already been shipped back. Uh, this guy was going to go into a, a painter. Um, I actually saw a render of it painted, um, and I really like the color combination. Um, and so I'm really excited for everybody to see this one. But, man, it's it's really big um, and just so well done. Of course, you know, this is not painted yet, um, but it's a fun piece. And then, of course, Batman <laughs> as well. <laughs> Just they're just awesome. That's a Marcus, great what, do you, what, what do you think of this line, Marcus? Are you do you like the bus idea? It's fantastic. Uh, the, the only th the problem with Tweeterhead right now is they want to go direct. Yeah. So you know yeah. Chad's going the, the direct approach. He wants to break free from a lot of things and a lot of people and sideshow and stuff, and wants to do everything in house. And when that happens, it I, I really can't support him the way I want to. It's like I don't get anything. So when people say, hey. Can I get Twitter out from you? No, you got to go direct because he's not giving out the wholesale stuff. So, I mean, until that happens, yeah, but he's doing fantastic. I mean, it's smart. It's smart. 350 pieces here. You know, he's, he's listening yeah. to you guys. You know, he's listening to the fans. Do, do you know, Killer Croc or whatever, you know, Clayface stuff. People, you know, people want all this stuff. It's, it's, yeah. and, I'm, I'm always about small. I'm always about like Iron Studio. I really push out there. <laughs> Because if you guys haven't seen that in person, and I understand a quarter scale stuff, like you know, the big, big pieces, one, three scales. But if you want 110 with great quality and gives you space and you're, you're budget friendly, 
that stuff is awesome, yeah. man. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I was about to say. The, these pieces resonate better for like a retail store. Somebody that's walking into a store, it's going yeah. to catch their eye because it, it's cheaper. It's easier yeah. to car- you know, carry out the door. It's not like some huge you know, statue that you have to invest a lot of money in. Yeah. It's more of like a spur of the moment. They might be like, okay, let me buy that real quick. Yeah. He uh, yeah. did say that they're probably going to shrink Mr. Freeze down just a little bit. They didn't want him to be so much taller than Batman. Um, okay. So I think they're they're going to shrink it just slightly. Um, and then also, uh, let's see, what could I talk about? Uh, Chad did send me some, um, just some drawings of Grundy. And so he's looking amazing. Um, and so more to come from Tweeterhead, guys. More to come. Oh, there's uh, a... <laughs> This is the uh, the switch out I want for the free. Yeah, this is the switch out. Uh, I think this was made by was this made by you or Jimmy G? I can't remember. Who. It was Jimmy. Yeah, and, uh, I was I I tagged Chad in it and said, Chad, I want this swap out uh, for like uh, the first ten to order it. <laughs> that's the prestige uh, XM. That's right. That's right. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> uh, but yeah, b- beautiful looking statue. Uh, and of course, he looks really good next to Superman as well, yep. which is. Just again, just can't wait for this line. I'm very excited to have these two. My collection. More than half sold on the Batman. Yep, more than half sold. So it's uh, it won't be around for long. That was a day one for me. Yep, same. Uh, this is uh, you're talking about one tenth. Uh, this is uh, some new Iron Studio stuff that they have coming out. This is the uh, the Harley. This is based on some of Art Germ's um, pinup style pieces. They have uh, obviously all the sirens that they're coming out with, but this is the Harley one. Uh, two different versions huh. of her um, with with the, the more complicated base and then one with uh, just kind of a simplistic base. They're doing a lot of that lately. Yeah, just offering some different price points. Yeah. Kind of yeah, cool. It's, it's, it's funny how good they are at creating smaller statues that sometimes look better than the big, the larger statues, especially yeah. like the, you know, the details. I agree. I agree with that. I got um, this oh, is uh, cool. Doctor that's Strange. Part of the, yeah, that Doctor Strange part of the whole Thanos Infinity Gauntlet comic mm-hmm. book diorama. So like it's, a, it's, a, yeah. it's tons of them come fighting Thanos. So it's a lot of fun. Really colorful piece. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I don't know how they do it. The the details are insane. Yeah, it's insane. And having a person, I mean, like I was telling you, somebody in the chat, we have a we have over 150 of these and. On display and once you see them you're like gosh you know they're really good especially when they're all, especially when you put them all together yeah, um, it's all the same cool. with like i've been collecting the batman black and whites um and I don't, I don't have very many but like one of them's cool but if you put them all together they look way cooler yeah and it's the same with the with the iron studios pieces i think once you have kind of a diorama set up you could really create something fun anyway looks great yeah, look at that. The cape is just really cool how it flows through like fire. Yeah, it's a cool piece. It's got all the gold elements too, the gold paint. Mm-hmm. This one's fun. Rhino. That's cool. It's a big piece. Be a big 10 scale. That's a cool one. Again, these are all uh, Iron Studios. Mm-hmm. Look at the texture on that. See, I could see this in a larger scale. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, their, their piece is so impressive. Yeah, I, this would be an awesome quarter scale. Or even and for guys scale. that don't know, uh, Iron Studio does reveal all their brand new pre-orders at the end of the month, every month. Okay. So, so just in case you didn't know that. Got a new He-Man one as well. Mm-hmm. These are just some of the new reveals. Also, I, re- I really like this Wonder Woman. Some people yeah. are complaining about it, but I'm like, I think it's awesome. What were they complaining about? Just yeah. this, it's not painted. Why would they? Who would want one that's not painted? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's, it's alternative it's, it's one. Stone, you know. It's, it's like exclusive. It's, yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> I I thought it's cool. the yeah, I thought it was really cool. Texturing's cool, but yeah, I, I really liked it. It always cracks me up when they say it's not painted. Yeah. I mean, it is painted. Painted. It's just not painted the way you want to paint it. Yeah. <laughs> it's prime. <laughs> they had a new uh, Lord of the Rings one as well. Kate yeah. Blanchett. Oh, the likeness looked pretty good on her. Even from a distance. Oh, this is cool. 
Scamble. This I threw in. I thought this was really neat. J. Scott Campbell, um, he's doing a piece with DC Direct uh, or McFarland Toys, I guess now. Um, but he actually did some behind the scenes stuff where they did like some drawings and some color swatches. I thought this was really cool to kind of see the behind the scenes of how he had his input on creating the statue. I thought that was really neat. Yeah. Yeah, I think I he's like one of the most involved <laughs> artists I, I see when it comes to like providing like 360 roundabout sketches of the entire piece and yeah. just everything. He gets very really involved in the piece. I asked him the other day, he is going to have his booth at San Diego again. Same spot? Yeah. Nice. That's a, it was a really nice location. I mean, it's a it really was. yeah, it's a really great booth for him. It's a fun booth. Yeah. I think he's been I, on break. I haven't even seen him at New York in, a, I think, a year or two. He usually has like a giant booth on the showroom floor. Mm -hmm. I don't think he does very many shows anymore. Yeah, it could be since the pandemic, I think, maybe. Let's see if I can... <coughs> Pardon me. But anyway, it's just really neat. The references, like he even has like real clothing ideas. Like it's it's just neat the way they, the way they design these things. Zatan is always popular. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I like the sculpt a lot. I think it's really nice. Yeah. It's beautiful. This is cool. No, this is cool. I I want one of these. <laughs> uh, this is awesome. the yeah, the Deadpool and Wolverine. This is the Hugh Jackman. Uh, I think the likeness is really impre incredible. Mm -hmm. I even saw some smiley ones today. Or <laughs> somebody did the smile app. But I think yeah, it you already brought, uh, bought tickets for the movie. Not yet. Yeah, I did. I, I have to. In my it town, opened, you don't have to do that. <laughs> it opened during San Diego, so it's going to be a full-on Comic-Con crowd for opening night. I bet these guys will be there then. What do you want to bet? It's got rolling eyeballs. Yeah, they got yeah. that purse. They got that, you know, all these have those purse rolling eyeballs thing where you can change the eye, eye position. I really like the masked one, too. I thought he mm -hmm. looked really badass. I, I think so, too. It looks fantastic. Yeah, look at I mean look at that. Look how cool that is. Yeah. That's awesome. Can you Hot imagine toys. seeing that on the screen for the yeah. first time? <clears throat> Hot yeah. Toys continues to impress. They do great. Yeah, I'm stuff. looking forward to I'm looking forward to being in a full theater for the first time in a long time. Yeah, that'll be right. nice. Mm -hmm. Of course you'll end up with con crud. That's the only problem. <laughs> And it's gonna be so much it's gonna be like Comic Con ten years ago where they would premiere movies and stuff. Yeah, I but hope the so. The whole crowd is gonna be from Comic Con. It's gonna be great. Yeah, it is a better like not better, like a funner experience when because the opening like the crowd just goes crazy, like people yeah, are clapping fun. and cheering. I can imagine as soon as he comes out with that cowl on screen, people are just gonna go crazy. Yeah. yeah. Uh this I just threw the Funko Pop in here because I, I love the the long Halloween and that's what this is from. Um and, and again, just being able to JWR and, and myself having dinner with Jeff Loeb uh the so, other night. This was uh I just like, oh I have to throw this in. It's so cool. Yeah, I like the all the, those uh variant covers you shared on Facebook. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, from a fellow collector. This is the Queen Studios, quote unquote, life size T Rex. Wow! Look how look how this thing is insane. Where's that going? That's now not this, as big as the one I saw a weekend or two ago. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. The ECC that, one is a I was lot. Say, that was ECC, right? Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, it's half scale, maybe. Um, I actually at one point actually kind of considered this. I'm like, it'd be kind of since I have the Bat Cave, I need the big T Rex in here, but. Not going to happen, I don't think. Huh. Or a giant penny. Yeah, I was yeah, going to say, it'd be probably, a giant penny might be cheaper. I don't know. It's flatter. You can hang it on the wall easier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but isn't that awesome? Yeah. It's crazy. For, for a Jurassic Park fan, that's yeah. awesome. Oh, look at the eyes. The eyes are killer. So crazy. I just like, it's so neat to see something like this set up. <laughs> and just insanely big it is. Like, it's, you know, it's just absurd. I How guess it's sitting right there. He's just... Crazy. He's already got the light on it. Uh, this is the new uh, teaser. This is a one-third Darth Maul from PCS. Looks good. Mm -hmm. See, the lightness looks fantastic. It's kind of nice to see this. Like, you always see, like, the cloaked version lately. Like, so this is kind of cool. Well, some people are complaining about that. Well, of course they are. <laughs> First what the are. collecting community complained <laughs> about something? <laughs> I think this is going to do really well for them, though. I do yeah. too. I think the likeness is fantastic. Yeah. My, my complaint is they killed them off too soon. They did. <laughs> no, they didn't. Yeah. You watch Clone Wars, you'd be fine. 
That's uh, right. <laughs> he's been around for a long time. Too uh, long at point. I gotta introduce the, to the movies. Uh, uh, yeah, I get you. I get you. I totally understand. Uh, that comes out base. tomorrow. Pre-order tomorrow. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, the base has a kind of an. It's kind of like what Legendary Beast is doing a little bit with the storytelling, but it's like inside yeah. the base, which I thought was kind of cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Good idea for him. If they light it like that, that's going to be really neat. Uh, <laughs> I hope so. I love it. Um, this was uh, an in-hand photo. Actually, this is the production of Queen Studios. This is the Henry Cavill Superman. And some people are like, well, this is what they showed as, as a pre-order, and this is what people get in hand. Uh, I don't think either one looks good. Oh. So that's that's that, and then that's that. I mean, it looks close to the proto except for the hair. Yeah, is it just the hair? It's the hair and the eyebrows to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just the angle. I don't know. Maybe it's the hair. This is why I will never buy a piece with rooted hair. I don't, I just don't want to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's, uh, I still think, it, I mean, it turned out, I mean, I still think it looks like Henry Cavill. I still think the likeness is there, but yeah, I agree with you on the hair. He's, he's kind of, he's one of those guys that's kind of tough to get right. I mean, there are a number of companies that are doing pretty darn good with Michelle Pfeiffer. Yes, they are. But uh, Cavill seems kind of tough. So does Christopher Reeve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Must be a Superman thing. I've got to give a shout-out to Matt Martin. Uh, he had uh, this great Penguin Commission come in this week. I, I, if he was going to be on the show, he uh, wasn't able to make it tonight. But um, looks great. Who did this? Oh, man, I don't know. I can't remember. It's really it's incredible looking. I just like the Batman in the rain back there. That's kind of it's just cool. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with everybody. Uh, this is from In Art. Look at that likeness. I thought that was like a real photo for him. Like yeah, <laughs> it's it's a six scale figure. Just incredible. Really nicely done. So that that has started to ship now. But I was like, wow, that's incredible. We actually got to see this head, uh, Jeff and I, um, in San Diego. Yeah, John was carrying it around. Yeah, just the head. <laughs> <laughs> just the head. Okay. Just the head. <laughs> you can insert your own joke if you want. That's, yeah, it's up to the audience. Uh, this is also in art. Uh, they've revealed their uh, Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. Mm. Uh, this one looked really good close yeah. yeah i think it's i showed this to my wife and she's a major harry potter fan and she thought it was it was pretty darn good yeah the only thing cool. i don't like is the knees you know you have the the bad seam line on the knees mm -hmm. yeah no yeah. her knees are really like that <laughs> <laughs> it's like at this point with her with her wrist too is the same yeah, yeah. They should, they, at this point i feel like they should do the seamless bodies on these like it's just yep yeah they're, they're mm -hmm. they could just easily improve that you know yeah. but I, I get it might be cost saving, but likeness is pretty good there to me. Well, you're not going to put her in a dynamic pose, right? She's not going to fly up in the air like Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, she's yeah. Leave her like that. Yeah, just yeah. without the joint. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have the cape, you know, you could hide it, but I mean the right. cloak. But yeah, the cloak, right? But anyway, and they also uh, teased, teased uh, Ron Weasley in these photos as well. well. That's one way to hide the the portrait. Turn back. Yeah. Just turn it backwards. <laughs> it's it's pretty, pretty creative. <laughs> Ron looks good too. So. <laughs> the the funniest part is they actually have the bases wrong. So they have her on Ron <laughs> and <laughs> him on Hermione. So shame, shame on the photographer on that you guys, one. You guys don't uh, collect hot toys a lot, but when you do, we get these we get these corrected plates that come in. They, they, they spelled Wolverine wrong or they spelled <laughs> Anakin Skywalker wrong. So you got to like put the new sticker on it. It's like, get it right. You, you think funny. you can get it right. Yeah. yeah. How hard yeah. is it? Oh, it's, wow. It just happened. Uh, this is a piece. This is a 110 scale piece from PCS. Uh, they're doing uh, some game reverse pieces in 10 scale. So these are going to be real affordable. Um, this is a Venom version. Um, so they have this blue version, which I thought looked really fun. Uh, again, it's kind of cartoony, but if you're into that sort of thing, uh, it's a fun piece. If you click Venom, nice pop of color. Mm -hmm. They are and, polystone. They're not oh, yeah. uh, PVC. They're not not PVC. 
Uh, and then they also have the black, the more traditional black version as well. So these are fun. <clears throat> and then they also had a, um, a Spider-Man tease to kind of go with it right here. Mm. In uh, red and then black. Oh, that's cool. I like that. So these are, again, these are 10 scale that uh, I don't think they're up for pre-order quite yet. That's cool. They positioned them so they could act, you can set them up as they're fighting. Yeah. It's smart. Uh, this is a McFarlane Superman that I thought looked pretty decent. That this looks pretty a, cool. Yeah. Jim Lee posed them. It's got the mm -hmm. fabric cape, which I don't love, but uh, I, thought, I thought the sculpt looked pretty nice. Yeah, it looks good. It's the, the Jim Lee art. Yeah. It looks like it. Yeah, it's, I think that's what it's based on. <clears throat> um, this was, I saw this one went up today. I don't remember the company. It's a newer company, this, but they are is, licensed. It's quarantine. 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 Yeah. I thought this was kind of a fun piece. Yep. Have they been around for a while? They probably came yeah. out during the pandemic. Huh? They've done they a few others. They did. did they <laughs> do that? Nobody got that joke. Quarantine. I see what you did there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think you're right though. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> Well, didn't they do the Betty Page with the the riding crop? I oh, think you're so. right. Yeah, you're I think right. so. They did do that. And then they did something <clears throat> else. What the heck was it? I can't remember. But it's it's all this kind of cheesecake stuff. Yeah. But I thought it, I saw it on slideshow today. I was like, oh, that's, that's a cool piece, actually. It, yeah, it looks good. I think yeah. they're one fifth. Yeah, it'll be. Yeah, that's nice. It's a, it's a little different take on her. Yep. I liked it. Um, these are some uh, production photos of the J and D piece. Uh, this is the Liv Tyler, Lord of the Rings. I think I think this likeness is really pretty darn good. That looks mm -hmm. good. Yeah, I can yeah. tell who it is. Yeah, I think I yeah. think it's one of J and D's better ones. People think it it was improved with the production piece. It had to be. It looks it looks improved. Yeah, I, I think it's not. It, it, I feel like this is one of the first ones where they don't have some of that droopiness. Yeah, that's true. Um. I just feel like she, you know, she looks young. She doesn't look old like some of the pieces. I, I, I feel like it is an improvement as well. I, I, I tip my hat to them. I, I feel like this is one of their better pieces. Mm -hmm. Pricey, but better. Comb 12. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. And Jeff Morris would be very, very happy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but again, that one, it looks like it will probably be shipping soon would be my guess. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.